The high school football regular season is officially in the rear view mirror, meaning tonight we got our first taste of playoff football for 2024, and we'll begin with our game of the week between Iron Mountain and Manistique. Let's head to Mountaineer Field for the matchup between the Emeralds and the undefeated Mountaineers. We're going to pick up in the first with Iron Mountain up seven. They're going to hand off to Aiden Ellis. He's going to get some nice blocking. He'll cut back and will go in untouched for another score. The Mountaineers take a 14-0 lead. Then on to the second quarter, same score. Iron Mountain sticks with the run game, this time to Alex Jane up the middle. Makes a nice cut and check out. Jane hitting the juke stick here, looking like LaDainian Tomlinson. Carries a few defenders into the end zone. Mountaineers up 21-0. Then a short while later, Iron Mountain again. The give back to Ellis this time. Makes a huge cut back across the field and he'll go in all alone. Mountaineers riding high up 28 to nothing as they go on to win big in this one over the Emeralds, 49 to 12. I mean, you take nothing for granted. Manistique the Emeralds, they have a, a, a couple of pretty good athletes, right? The quarterback and the running back. Uh, we were able to keep them in check for the most part. So credit to our kids. Uh, we ran the ball effectively. Alex Shane, Aiden Ellis running the ball effectively. Passed just enough with Ian Marla, you know, and Evan Copley and Oscar Kangas. Those kids made plays in the passing department. So you win 49-12. Uh, we got to be happy with that, and we'll move on to next week. And the Mountaineers advanced to their district final where they were slated to take on the winner between Bark River Harris and East Jordan. It looks like they'll have East Jordan on the docket coming up next week. They won tonight 34 to 14. Now over on the east end of the UP, we're going to head to Chuck Bennon Field in Pickford. The Pickford Panthers playing host to Munising in their regional semifinals. We've got no score early in the first quarter. First and 10 for the Panthers. Tommy Story is going to get the carry and he's going to have plenty of running room as he breaks this one 42 yards to the house. It's 8-0 Pickford. Then after a Mustangs three and out, Pickford back on offense. They're going to hit on another big play. It's Story back with the football. This time he takes it 27 yards and he'll tumble into the end zone. That's going to make it 16-0 Pickford. Still in the first, third possession for the Panthers. It'll end with Gunner Bennon getting to the edge from two yards out. He gets in for the score. That makes it 24-0 Pickford. And Pickford continues to find success on the ground. Story weaves his way through defenders. A 16-yard touchdown run this time. They're up 32. Second quarter, Pickford on the doorstep again. Bennon able to get to the outside again, making it look a little too too easy 39 nothing Pickford then a bit later Panthers one more time Caden Wiltfong will make it 45 to nothing Panthers as Pickford rolls in this one big the score there 67 to 12 and another score the Nagani Miners were in action tonight down in Boyne City a tough fought game but Nagani comes up short the final there 23 16 Boyne City will face the winner of tomorrow's game between Calumet and Kingsley